Thank you so much to the Trenton Military Wives Choir. Really appreciate all the information there and their initiative with helping the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation. Well, joining us now is Amelia Huffman, the Fund Development Coordinator with the Alzheimer's Society of Hastings and Prince Edward, here to talk about the IG Wealth Management Walk that has gone virtual but now nationally. Amelia, could you break this one down for us? Absolutely, Lindsay. Thank you guys so much for having me on to talk about our uh, move to a virtual walk. Um, so we're actually all coming together across Canada for a one day kind of movement on Sunday, May 31st. Uh, communities across Canada will be walking in support of their local Alzheimer's Society and raising funds for them. Um, there will be a national broadcast put out on that day by the Alzheimer's Society of Canada on Facebook and on uh, walkforalzheimer's.ca. Uh, featuring families and personal stories and showing folks walking their way across the country. So because we are doing this virtual walk, it is a very much a walk your way style uh, event. So folks are being asked, you know, whether it be doing some yoga, doing some dancing, setting a step goal inside. Um, myself personally, I'm going to do 250 jumping jacks that day, you know, and try to try to capture it on film. So people are doing some really creative things to raise awareness for and funds for the Alzheimer's Society through so this event. Saturday, May 31st, so how does all the money stay local like normally in the past? Of course. So uh, Sunday, May 31st, uh, we will be raising funds online. So if you go to walkforalzheimers.ca, you can select Ontario and then any uh, local community that you live in. So for us, uh, Hastings Prince Edward is one of the options. So if you register for our local campaign or donate directly to our local Hastings Prince Edward Walk Initiative, it all stays 100% local as it always has. Um, we've also had some wonderful sponsors that have continued to support this event. Uh, we've re really brought it together this year. So in past, we may have had, you know, the Bevel event, the Quinney West and Brighton Walk and the Prince Edward County Walk, but because we're already so isolated, um, bringing our Hastings Prince Edward community supporters together in this way, it's been really nice to see people interacting and um, seeing each other's stories on this platform. Yeah, I think that with the show for sure is people really coming together quickly for the common goal. What's your goal for this walk though this year right now for, for the directly Hastings Prince Edward? Well, we know that these are unprecedented times and as much as this event is, um, you know, focused on raising much needed funds for our society, it's very much an awareness event as well. So we're hoping to raise over $20,000, of course. Um, you know, we appreciate all of those local donations that we receive, again, with those sponsorships. And being a combined walk, I think we we have a good chance of hitting that target and then some. So it really, it's hard to tell. It's um, definitely a first for us going completely virtual. That being said, folks are still, uh, you know, calling into the office and making uh, credit card donations or mailing in checks. Um, there's, you know, there's other ways that we've been able to get those donations in from the community, which we are so grateful for. Um, because we're, we're definitely still out providing services remotely, although our offices are closed, uh, you know, we are still here for them just as much as they've been here for us, which is so fabulous. How is remotely working right now? Is it virtual or is it phone call based? Are you still accepting new referrals? Of course. So we are still accepting new clients and referrals, referrals through our First Link Care Navigator program. Sharon and Petra are connecting with anyone who may have questions or um, is looking to become a new client and receive those services. Uh, all of our education and support staff are offering uh, phone call support, one-on-one -on -one support, uh, whether it be on a Zoom call or you know on Skype, something like that. But then we've also taken our support groups um, and they are now virtual, uh, many of them with a free toll-free option to call in if someone doesn't have access to a computer or the technology required for a you know virtual support group. Uh, I, actually had the uh, opportunity today to sit in on our virtual memory cafe for the Belleville area and got to see some familiar faces and friends that I hadn't seen in a long time and we were talking about the walk um, and memory cafe is just one of the many events that we've um, including social events that we've taken you know online to have people be able to still connect. What are some of the new programs you're thinking of or you've been discussing as this continues a little bit longer than expected? 
we'd really like to um, be able to provide some exercise programming, um, different things where we can all get active because we know how important that is. Uh, we have recently just began um, putting together activity kits for our clients. So we are sending those home with them, um, different things that uh, persons living with dementia can do, things to provide a little bit of respite time for the caregiver. So um, we'd love to get some more of those out as well. Um, you know, expand our virtual support group offerings and maybe do a little bit more training and get more people familiar with, you know, with the technology um, or the phone-in option that is always available. So I think, you know, the more we uh, get used to this, both, you know, as staff and, and for our clients and community, I think uh, we're all adjusting every day, but the demand is definitely there. Um, you know, I think it is, I can safely say it's appreciated by our clients that we are available to help and and it's so great that we can. And the walks are such an essential part of, you know, sparking that conversation again and also having physical representation of, of people living with dementia and the community partners around that. As we move to virtual, what's some of the things you've been noticing within the year about the conversation with dementia and with Alzheimer's? Has, how has it been shifting or has it even been shifting since then? Well, I think, you know, um, when people are forced to be apart from their loved ones even more than they normally are, um, it's it's really shining a light on how much social interaction and um, being able to see our loved ones and interact with them has on both you know our quality of life and theirs. So the importance of that has really shown itself. Um, another thing that has really come up in the discussion around dementia is the fact that people living with dementia and their care partners feel like this all the time. They are isolated, they are separated, they are feeling some stigmatization often in their community and are you know, often having to stay at home or uh, not participate in social activities. And you know, we, we wanna make that correlation that you know, maybe when things are getting better here and a lot of us are able to get back to our normal lives and doing some things that we enjoy, those families are still um, experiencing this isolation every day. So that's just something that we've been able to kind of bring to light and, uh, and bring a little bit more awareness around is that isolation piece for those in our community. Well, May for 31st, the National Walk. We look forward to seeing some videos, hopefully of you practicing as well. Where can we go for more information on this, Amelia? So our local um, Alzheimer's Society website has all the information about the walk at alzheimer.ca slash HPE. Uh, you can also phone our office uh, and leave us a voicemail and we get right back to you or you can speak with Lori on, on the phone on the front desk. And of course, walkforalzheimers.ca. You just pick Ontario and then pick your community and you'll find our local page again under Hastings Prince Edward. And lots of stuff on our Facebook page as well. If you get a chance to like us and check us out, there'll be those fun videos um, and access to the live stream on there as well. All right, Amelia Heffman, the Fund Development Coordinator for the Alzheimer's Society of Hastings Prince Edward. Wishing you well, looking forward to these videos and good luck with everything. Take care. Thank you so much, Lindsay.